Hey there, this is Jordan Alexo from ProSectorials and in this video I'm going to talk about BuddyPress. If you don't know what BuddyPress is, well it's a plugin that you install into your WordPress website. And once you have this plugin installed, it transforms your website into a social network. This means that people are able to register into your website. Once they are, they can start interacting with other people belonging to the same network. This means sending messages, start building a friend list, and a lot more. So in this video, I'm going to explain how you can install BuddyPress and also how you can set up this plugin in your WordPress website. So let's get started. So once you go to your website, uh, the first thing that you want to choose is a proper theme for BuddyPress because you have plenty of themes and some of them don't work well for BuddyPress. This is the theme that I'm using at the moment and this actually works uh, pretty good for, for BuddyPress. But if you want to choose another one, what you do is you go to your WordPress dashboard and once you are here, you just go to Appearance and you choose Themes. And you can see that I'm using this one, which is called Emmet Lit Lit. But you can choose another one. What you can do is you go to Add New, and you search for BuddyPress. And this basically will filter all the themes that are proper for you to use uh, for BuddyPress. So you can see over here, you can choose one of this this one's and just see which one you actually prefer I'm just going to stick with this one Emmet Lit but try another one and see if you enjoy more now for you to install BuddyPress what you need to do is you go to plugins and you want to press add new and most likely you will see in the featured listing BuddyPress will appear in this listing but if it doesn't what you do is you search for BuddyPress And you can see that it's the first plugin that appears in this listing. You might want to check more details so you can get more basic information about BuddyPress before you actually install it in your website. And once you are done with that, what you want to do is just press install now. And in the next page, you want to activate this plugin in your website. What you can see immediately is once you install this plugin, you get this, this page. You may want to read the information over here so you can get a bit more details about BuddyPress. But also you can see that you have a few new sections appearing. Yeah, for example, activity. So let's click on activity so you can see more exactly this what is this is. In activity, as an administrator, you can see all the activity that is happening inside of your social network. This means the, the messages that people are leaving and so on. You can see over here a few examples. Then you have emails. These are, these are basically the, um, the messages that people will receive, your members will receive, and you may want to change this. This is really up to you to change this, or you may even want to add a new one or customize one. So these are the, the messages that you have then you have users and in users you can see that you have a few new fields which later on I'm going to explain in more detail and then in settings you have an option called BuddyPress which also I'm going to explain later on more in detail so once you have this done what you want to do is you want to create a few new pages so you go to pages and you want to add new so now you need to create four new pages, one for members, one for activity streams, activate and register. You can see the pages that you need to create over here above. So I'm going to create one for members now, members, and I'm going to press publish. And I'm going to create a new one for activity stream. Activity streams. Uh, another one for activate and lastly one for register
Okay, so once you have this done, all of this four pages done, what you want to do is you want to go to settings and you want to click on buddy press. Over here in components, there are several options that you may want to choose from. Uh, you can just uh, read the description so you can get a better idea of what each one of them does. They are pretty straightforward. Anyway, I'm going to, besides the standard ones that come with this, the installation of this plugin, I'm going to choose a few extra ones, such as friend connections, because this allows people to more easily follow the people who they like inside of the social network. Uh, also, private messaging allows people to send private messages to other people. And also user groups, because this allows people to create inside of your social network groups that are private, hidden, and so on. So I'm going to choose these three options. And I'm just going to press Save Settings. Now let's go to Pages. And in Pages, you can see that you have over here several options. And actually, these were the pages that we created previously. And if you don't have one of them connected to the appropriate field, what you do is you click on this drop down menu and you select the appropriate page which you created previously. And you can even do a view so you can get a better idea of how this looks like. So, this is the members page, and this allows me to see all of the members that are inside of this social network. Okay, so this is what you need to do over here then you need to get to options and inside of options once again you have several options they are pretty straightforward all of them but the one that I typically in check is this one toolbar because people who are logged out are able to see a buddy press uh, a buddy press toolbar appearing on the top section and I mean if they are logged out that's pretty useless and it shouldn't be shown so I'm just going to check this option then they have uh, other options which allows your users to upload a photo of them, uh, a cover image, and so on. So I'm just going to leave all of these options, the ones that are already checked, and I'm going to press Save Settings. Now what you need to do is you need to go to Appearance and you want to select Menus. So now I'm going to create a new menu so I can add all of the pages that belong to BuddyPress. So I'm going to call this Main Menu. To press the create menu button and once that is done I want to select where I want my navigation bar to appear inside of my website in this case it's primary menu section and now what you want to do is you want to go to buddy press so you can add all of the different pages if you don't have this section appearing what you do is you go to the top section you click on screen options and make sure to check this option called buddy press and you can see that once you check it, it immediately appears below. Now just check all of the pages that you have belonging to BuddyPress. And you just add to your menu. And also go to Pages and add Members and also Activity Streams. And also add to Menu. Now if you want, you can reorganize these fields the way that you want inside of your navigation bar just by drag and dropping them just like this and now you just press save menu and I'm going to refresh my website so you can see the changes okay so now you can see all of the different fields and I'm going to explain each field so you can have a better idea of what exactly they do so the first one is members and this allows you to see all of the members that are subscribed to your social network Then you have activity stream. And in this case, you cannot see any, any activity because nothing really happened. But once people start exchanging messages between each other, you will be able to see their activity in activity streams. Activity, you are able to see the, the messages that you either received or you sent to someone else. As you can see in this example. Then you have profile and in profile 
you are able to see, for example, in edit, once you press edit, you can change your username if you want another username and change profile photo. You can change the basically the avatar photo if you want just by select select your file and uploading a file that you have in your computer. And also you can change the cover image, which is basically this image that appears on the top section. And you just select your file and you can do that. And it's important to notice that this kind of features will also appear to any user who subscribes to your social network. So they also will be able to change their image avatar and also their cover image if they want. Then you can go to notifications and see if someone sent to you a message or other notifications will also appear over here. Messages, you can see the messages that you sent to someone and someone also sent to your inbox. You can also compose a new message if you want by choosing compose. And you need to select the person who you want to send this message, the subject line, and also the content or the information that you want to send to that person. Then you have friends and you can see who you are a friend with and also the requests that someone sent to you to be your friend. Then you can see groups and inside of groups you can see the the groups that you belong to and also if someone sent to you an invitation to uh, to basically join their group you can see in this section. Then you have settings which is one of the last options over here. and. Over here you can change your email address if you want another one, also the password. You can go to email and in email you can basically set up the notifications that you want to receive depending on the different conditions that they provide over here. For example, if you don't want to receive a notification as a member mentions you in an update, then you can just choose no and just press save and you won't receive notifications when this condition happens. Then you have profile visibility, basically you can see uh, if everyone is able to see your account, your profile, so that's basically this option. And basically those are the several options that you have displayed and that you can use and also other users are able to use when they are registered in your social network. Now let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. So now you want to go to your sidebar and you want to choose users and click on all users. In all users you are able to see everyone who has subscribed to your social network including yourself. Also administrator you can see the administrators that you have in your website. Subscribers you can see the, the people who have subscribed to your social network and pending once someone registers to your social network, they are only able to join once you improve their registration. Then you have profile fields. So I'm going to click on profile fields, which is one of the last fields. This is the information that you want to be displayed in the registration page. So in this case, I just have name, but let's say that I want to include another field. So I go over here and click on add new field. And let's select, let's say gender. And in this case, I want to make it, um, let's make it radio buttons. And below you need to choose the options that you want to appear. Let's say male and female and well, just male and female. And once you have that, then you just press save. Actually, if you want, you may want to do this required because this is gender and making it required is pretty good because it's something that people actually need to do so they can sign up and just press save and you can see that I now I have a new field. Okay so that is basically all of the fields that you have when it comes to BuddyPress. Now let's do a small testing. So let's imagine that someone goes to my website, they want to join my social network how does this work? Okay, let's see. So let's go to my front page. So I'm someone who wants to join the set, the social network from this website. I click on register. 
and I need to put over here my username. Let's say uh, peanuts, and let's put over here an email address, a password. Let's put something over here. Uh, name required, so this is your name. Let's say Peanut Man and gender. Let's select male. And now you just press complete sign up. Okay, so once this happens, what happens is the administrator needs to actually confirm this pending request. So I'm going to log in as administrator of this website. And I'm going to accept this request over here. So I go to all users. I go to pending. And you can see that I have this request from Peanuts. So what I do is I just click over and activate so I can join this person to my social network. This is basically how this works. And you can see that now once I go to all, I have a new user. So now let's log in as a new user and let's go to login. Let's put over here peanuts and let's go put over here the password, login. Okay, this is, so once this person logins, they, they can go to members, see basically the members who are uh, in this social network. If they want, for example, to send a message to someone, they can click on the, the person's name and they can go either they can choose either to send a private message or a public message. When it comes to a public message, that means that everyone who belongs to the social network will be able to see this message. They can also add that person to has their friend just by selecting have friend. And once that person uh, basically approves the pending request, they will be both friends. So if you want to send a message, let's say private message. So you put over here, send to Jordan Alexa because you can send to multiple people at once if you want. And you just put over here the topic and the message and so on. So basically that's how this social network works. You have other features available. That's basically all about BuddyPress. This is how it works. This is a social network. People can start interacting with each other. It has several features. And also you can include you can also include uh, BuddyPress with BBPress if you want to integrate a forum. So B uh, BuddyPress will integrate the social network features. And if you also include uh, BBPress, you will also include the forum features if you want. So that's just an idea. This is all about BuddyPress. By now you certainly have a good idea of how BuddyPress works, how to install it and also set it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and also like my video so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about YouTube marketing, internet marketing and a lot more. So stay there, stay tuned with Prosite Tutorials and bye.